welcome again. I'd like you at, the, at this time to honor the people that helped me um, on the Athena Committee. At this time, would all the members of the Athena Committee please stand? Their names are listed in the program. Come on, committee members. Also, if you take your program and look at the back side, we would not be here today if we didn't have the people on the back side of the program. These are our donors and sponsors. And if you are interested in sponsoring or donating, uh, you can now visit our new website, which is listed right above the Athena logo at the bottom. It just started about three months ago, two months ago. I, I kind of lost track of time. But we just have our website up and running. It's the SaintPaulAthena.com. So go ahead. The more clicks, the more it gets to be on the top of the list. So go visit the website. Uh, pic pictures about the girls will be, er, and bios and things will be, uh, or not bios, but uh, names and et cetera will, will be on the website uh, very soon if they're not already. I didn't check before I came today. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce our speaker. Our speaker today is Rachel Blunt. Rachel is a sports reporter and columnist for the Star Tribune in the Minneapolis area. She has been at the Star Tribune since 1990 and has covered a wide range of sports, including the NHL, the NBA, college hockey, and Olympic sports. She's covered the last eight Olympics, and in about two weeks, I bet she's gonna go to the Kentucky Derby because she's covered eight Kentucky Derbies. Rachel has won a variety of national and state awards and previously worked at the Des Moines Register and the Atlanta Journal and Constitution. She's a native of Iowa, a small town, I won't tell you what, but we were talking small towns up here. And she graduated from the University of Notre Dame and had a, has a master's degree in journalism from the University of Missouri. Rachel lives in South Minneapolis with her husband, Pat Borzi, who's also a sports journalist. At this time, I'd like to welcome Rachel Blunt. Hi, and welcome to everybody here. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here with you today and to share in this very, very special celebration of athletic achievement. Even though we're stuck in this winter that will not end, I'm sure that our award recipients and their parents are beginning to feel that, that special kind of nostalgia that, that comes when you know that a chapter in your life is starting to, to come to a close. All of you senior athletes are gonna be saying goodbye soon to the teammates and the coaches who have helped you reach this place in your lives and create so many wonderful memories that you'll be carrying with you. But I can say with absolute confidence that all the qualities that have earned you this award that you'll be accepting today, the determination, the work ethic, the drive to be your best, the impact that those things will have on your lives is just beginning. And I know because my own sports experience is still a very positive force in my life many, many years after I last wore a uniform. I grew up in Iowa in the 1970s in a very small town, in a family and a community that was just crazy for sports. Our high school only had three sports for girls. We had six on six basketball, track and softball. But even before Title IX, our town really valued those girls' teams. People would pack the gym for our games. Even people that didn't have kids in school would always come to our games and cheer for us. Whenever we had a fundraiser, people would buy our wrapping paper and our candy bars, line up at our car washes. And in my family, we were always rounding up the neighbor kids and having a game of home run der derby or a game of horse in the driveway or hitting around a tennis ball. So I got to enjoy 
all the benefits of playing sports at a time when not all girls were lucky enough to have that opportunity. And that helped prepare me for my career and a few other things in life that, in ways that I didn't even realize at the time. I graduated from Notre Dame in 1984 with the dream of becoming a sports writer at a big city newspaper. And in the late 1970s, women were just starting to get opportunities to cover major sports events and to be allowed equal access to report on things like the NFL and Major League Baseball. That was what I wanted to do, simply because I loved sports and I was absolutely fascinated by athletes and the stories that they had to tell. Even into the 1960s, though, press passes frequently had a slogan printed on the back of them, and it said, no women or children allowed in the press box. And when I began my career, I suddenly started hearing things that I never heard when I was growing up. I heard, why would you want to write about sports? You're a girl. Girls can't do that. What are you thinking? And when I started covering sports in the mid-1980s, there still weren't a lot of women sports reporters, and there were many, many people who just didn't think that we belonged. My first job was in Atlanta, Georgia, where I covered everything from major college football to the NBA and Major League Baseball. I was asked by some coaches why I wasn't at home baking biscuits, because that's what a girl should be doing. I had a there was a baseball player who wouldn't speak to any reporters if I was covering that game because he said that I was defying God's plan by taking a job that a man should have. I got letters from people saying that I should be fired or beaten up or, or worse. And even well-meaning people, even like my parents' friends, assumed that I went into this profession because I wanted to date the athletes. Or they would say it's not ladylike or that I could never understand sports like a man could understand sports. And here I am, 27 years later, still doing this job that I still have a great, great passion for. And thank goodness, attitudes have changed. But sometimes people will ask me, how did you get through those times when, when you weren't wanted, when people didn't think women should be sports reporters? And my answer is always really simple. It was all the things that I learned through all my years of playing sports. Sports made me a strong person, a confident person, a very determined person. They made me understand what it means to want something really, really bad and give everything you have to get it. They taught me that giving up is never an option. And I have all of my wonderful, wonderful coaches and teachers through the years to thank for that. In just a few minutes, we'll be introducing the winners of this year's Athena Awards and giving them plaques that they can hold in their hands or put on their wall that will remind them of the things that they accomplished as a high school athlete. But I know that the qualities that led to those accomplishments are going to shine on in your lives every single day. As a former high school athlete myself, I feel so happy and so inspired to see what young women like you are achieving on the diamond and on the rink and on the court. You make all of us very proud, and not just because you've won championships and you've made all-star teams. We're proud of your strength and your perseverance, your leadership, and your teamwork. And I can't wait to see where you all go from here. Thank you very much, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Rachel. And I bet a lot of the girls out here don't know what six-on-six -six girls basketball <laughs> even is. But those of us in the room that have a little bit of gray hair know what six-on-six -six basketball is. I have a little story about that. I won't bear, bore you with it, but, um, but I will say I went to Winona with my parents uh, for a weekend when I was in high school. And the Winona station at that time carried the girls' state 
six on six basketball tournament from Iowa at Winona. And it was so, I thought, oh, this is very different. We only got to play it at gym. We didn't get to play it. We didn't get to play it uh, for, you know, as an athlete. At this time, I'd like to introduce the other person at the head table, and I don't think he needs a whole lot of introduction. I bet you everyone up here, everyone recognizes him. It's Randy Shaver. Randy joined CARE 11 in 1983 as a sports reporter. He was named the co-anchor of the 5, 6, and 10 p.m. news programs along with Julie Nelson in 2012. Randy was the sports director at CARE 11 from 1994 to 2012. Many of you probably remember his sports extra, which I think he's still doing, uh, even though he's now on the news side. Randy was proud to be inducted into the Minnesota Football Coaches Hall of Fame in 2004. He's also a member of the Cedar Rapids Jefferson High School Hall of Fame in both football and track. Each year, Randy hosts the Rush Creek Golf Club Randy Shaver Celebrity Golf Classic, benefiting the Randy Shaver Cancer Research and Community Fund. Randy has raised over $4 million for cancer research and patient aid in Minnesota since 1995. Randy is a cancer survivor. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease in June of 1998. At this time, I'd like to introduce Randy Shaver. We finally got it right at that head table. Two Iowans sit next to each other. It's about time. I've been pushing for this for years. Trying to bug the end, let's go, let's get this right up here. We finally got it right. Van Meter, Iowa, which is the birthplace of Bob Feller, That's is that correct? correct? Yes. Pretty impressive. Nice to have Rachel here today. This is my favorite event. Other than my golf event in June, this is my favorite event. And it's my favorite event because these young ladies are absolutely tremendous. You're gonna hear about their accomplishments today. You're also going to hear where they're heading to school next year, and I think we're going to hear some big things from all of these young ladies down the road. They are very impressive. I'm going to read each of their uh, bios up here. They're going to stand up here. They're going to receive a plaque from Rachel, and uh, you can do the applause right after we introduce, after the, uh, I'm done reading about them. We'll give you a chance to give them a little bit of applause, too. First one up is Caitlin Russell from Creighton Durham Hall. Caitlin was captain of all three of her teams, soccer, hockey, and lacrosse. In soccer, she was offensive MVP with four letters, two all-conference and all-state. For both hockey and lacrosse, she has four letters and two all-conference in each. Outside of school, she volunteers for the Jeremiah program. She earned an academic excellence award. Caitlin plans to attend the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire and study elementary education. Caitlin Russell from Creighton Durham Hall. Sophia Schwartz from Hill Murray was captain of the volleyball team, having earned two all-conference honorable mention and three letters, three letters in basketball, two in softball. Other school activities include student ambassador, peer listening, and National Honor Society. She earned the Golden Gold Service Award at Hill Murray, academically on the A honor roll with a, good Lord, how tall are you? <laughs> Every year I'm shrinking. It's amazing. It's what happens when you get old. How, how tall are you, Sophia? 5'11". You're not 5'11". I'm 5'11". <laughs> Take off those heels. <laughs> Academically, she's on the A honor roll with a letter and an academic all-state. She plans to go to St. Olaf College. She's still undecided on a major. Sophia Schwartz from Hill Murray. <laughs> Kristen Bourne from Mounds Park Academy has 18 letters, six in each of her three sports, as well as being captain for each. Cross country, third on the school's all-time best list. 
being a six-time MVP with six all-conference, captain and twice a state participant, Nordic skiing five-time all-conference and five-time MVP, thus far in track and field, three all-conference and three MVPs, as well as being on the top 10 list in five events at her school. She's also a musician, participating in concert choir, concert band, symphonic band, Woodwind Ensemble. She's also the co-founder of the Diversity Club. Her service activities have been, uh, include uh, being a part of two mission trips. Academically on the honor roll, she will ski for the University of Colorado and study exercise science. Kristen Bourne from Mounds Park Academy. Madison Steele from New Life Academy was captain of both volleyball and basketball. In volleyball, she has four letters for basketball, four letters, and one all-conference. Her leadership continues as student council treasurer, also a member of Art Club, National Honor Society, and the Mentor Prayer Group, as well as being a tutor. Once again, her leadership shown off the court, president of a nonprofit, buy a coffee, buy a well, and volunteers for many groups, including Feed My Starving Children, Vacation Bible School, Meals on Wheels, and Assisted Living Home and Basketball Clinic. She's on the A honor roll, a very good student. She's going to Baylor University, and her major is pre-dental. Madison Steele from New Life Academy. <laughs> Maria Davis from St. Agnes won the most defensive award and was among the top rebounders in the metro area in basketball. Her other basketball accomplishments include three letters and two all-conference honorable mentions. For volleyball, she has five letters, three all-conference and an honorable mention as well. She participates with Feed My Starving Children and Meals on Wheels. She plans to attend Wisconsin River Falls. She is undecided right now on a major. Maria Rose Davis from St. Agnes. <laughs> Lily Rogers grants from uh, St. Paul Academy and Summit School. Lily holds the school record in the four by 800 meter relay with her foursome having been conference champions for two years, two year captain in track, earned six letters in cross country, particip participated in the state meet and the Roy Griak Invitational, four-time letter winner in Nordic skiing, having won the Coaches Award twice and being named captain. Her music talents include being concert master for the school orchestra while being in the orchestra for five years, the Senior Strings Chamber Orchestra, and the Summit Singers. She is a youth leader in Girls Best, a nonprofit grant reviewing committee with the Minnesota Women's Foundation. She plans to attend Bates College to participate in track and field, cross country, and Nordic club, and she uh, plans to study philosophy. Lily Rogers Grant from SPA. <laughs> Ann Derbertine, Debertine rather, uh, from Visitation, two-time state tournament participant in volleyball and on the Pioneer Press All-Metro second team, captain with four letters, in softball, three letters and three all-conference, twice named MVP and captain, two-time All-State, uh, uh, with two All-State second team nominations and also on the Pioneer Press All-Metro second team. In addition to the Athena Award, she won the Visitation Excellence in Athletics Award, peer mentor and coordinator of the Blood Drive. Beyond her school activities, she works with Claire Housing, uh, Feed My Starving Children, and is a coach for youth softball. She plans to study, um, go to dental school after studying biology, and she plans to go to Northwestern University. Congratulations. And Deborah Team from Visitation. Betsy McDonald from Central was a Pioneer Press Student Athlete of the Week and was Miss Basketball Candidate, won the Coaches Award four times, MVP twice, four letters, and three all-conference. In soccer, four letters, three all-conference, an honorable uh, All-State Honorable Mention, Rookie of the Year and Player of the Year and Captain, St. Paul Lions Female Amateur Athlete. Other school activities include Varsity Band, Symphonic Band, Ordway Honors Band, National History Day, National Honor Society, Multicultural Fair, and Student Leader. She volunteers at her church as a youth deacon, Sunday school assistant, and other activities. She's on the honor roll and an Excel Award nominee. She will play basketball on scholarship at St. Cloud State University with a goal to attain a master's degree, undecided yet what the major will be, but I'm sure she'll <laughs> I'm sure Betsy will figure it out. She's got plenty of time. Betsy McDonald from Central High School. 
Abigail Smith from Como Park won the Hobie Baker Award in 10th grade at that school. Additional hockey accomplishments include five letters, one all-conference and being captain. Volleyball, captain twice with four letters and three all-conference. This is her second year as captain of the softball team. She was a member of band in her freshman and sophomore year, scholastically fourth in her class and on the A honor roll with distinction. Abigail wants to play one sport in college. Not sure what that sport will be or do we know what the sport will be? Oh, so two sports set, volleyball and softball. And she's going to St. Olaf and she plans to study physical therapy or sports medicine. She's a little undecided which one which one she's going to study, but I'm sure she'll be a great success. Abigail Smith from St. Olaf, or from uh, Como Park, going to St. Olaf. Shaquilla Wells Johnson's from Harding High School, two times section finalist in track and field, captain twice, MVP twice. For basketball, she was captain and MVP, having earned four letters and three all-conference honorable mentions. Captain and most improved player and MVP in volleyball, holding three letters in all-conference and honorable mentions. Her other school activities are prom committee, blood drive, and treasurer of self-esteem for teens, volunteers for Big Brothers Big Sisters, Earth Club, the Children's Museum, and Youth Leadership Initiative. She academically, very good student, hopes to run track for St. Catharines and major in uh, psychology to become a clinical psychologist. Shaquilla Wells Johnson from Harding High School. Emma Weber from Highland Park lettered in four sports, including a school record in the 3,200 meters and on the four by 1,600 meter relay team, conference champion in the 3,200 meters. Soccer team was twice conference champion. She holds four letters in that sport. In cross country, her team was conference champ and her accomplishments one letter and one all conference. She was captain of the Nordic ski team, took second in the state state qualifier and two letters and all conference and honorable mention. Outside of sports, she is the student council president, was secretary last year, four years of speech competition, captain of that team and a two year state qualifier. She's also a member of 4-H and has been for the last 13 years. Scholastically, she is 11th in her class and uh, plans to take Chinese through the University of Minnesota, at least it says that here, that may be different now, St. Ben's is where she's heading, studying international business. Emma Weber from Highland Park. <laughs> Santana Castillo from Humboldt holds 12 letters in three sports in softball, all section, all conference, and honorable mention. In basketball, she was an all conference, honorable mention. In volleyball, two all conference, and honorable mention. Active in student council, friendship club, homecoming, and snow days committees. Community activities include um, Neighborhood, Food Shelf, and West Side Booster. She's an honor roll student, plans to play softball at Century College, undecided yet on what she plans to study. Santana Castillo from Humboldt High School. <laughs> Mariah Carruth is from Johnson High School, Twin City All-Star Classic nominee for basketball, earned four letters, two all-conference and two all-conference honorable mentions has three letters in golf and one in cross country. You will find her dressed as the Govey, as she is also the school mascot. <laughs> That's awesome. Not only does she play the sports, but she supports the other sports and she's the mascot. You can't ask for anything better than that. She's an honor roll student and she plans to attend Riverland Community College to play basketball and major in civil engineering. Mariah Carruth out of Johnson High School. Elizabeth Barco from Washington Technical, uh, Technology Magnet. First year for Washington Technology Magnet to participate in the Athena Awards. I think that in itself deserves a round of applause. Welcome. Elizabeth won the Golden Glove Award in softball and has one letter for basketball. She was the most improved player and in volleyball earned a letter. She is a member of the Ordway Honors Choir, Band, and Junior ROTC. In the community, she worked at uh, her church for cleanup and caroling in a nursing home. She is an honor roll student, and she plans to study early childhood education at Concordia and St. Paul. Elizabeth Barco from Washington, Technology Magnet. Jaron Pipkins from Apple Valley holds the Minnesota State all-time record in the 4 by 100 meter relay. Her relay team was state champion and two-time state runner-up as well. Of course, this makes them a school record holder as well. Four-time letter winner in track, 
most versatile and MVP. She was twice captain of the basketball team, twice leading scorer and leading rebounder, scoring over a thousand points in her career, holds five letters and three all-conference in that sport. She's a member of choir and National Honor Society. Her volunteer activities include peer tutor, concession stand work, and youth track and basketball coaching. Scholastically, she earned the Excel Award, Eagle Excellence, and Academic All-State. She's on the A Honor Roll. She will attend Dartmouth College and participate in track and field and study chemistry. Jaron Pipkins from Apple Valley High School. Jenna Roaring from Centennial was Miss Soccer and two-time Gatorade Player of the Year, as well as Star Tribune and Pioneer Press Player of the Year. Holds five letters and four all-conference, uh, three all-state, and two MVP awards, captain twice of her team. She is on the yearbook committee, organized the school blood drive. In the community, she works with youth soccer and Feed My Starving Children. She will play soccer on scholarship, and this is where we would all like to go on a day like today, Santa Clara University <laughs> in warm and sunny, beautiful California. Undecided on a major, but that doesn't matter, does it? No, we're going to California. <laughs> we don't care, we'll figure it out. Congratulations, Jenna Roaring from Centennial. <laughs> Samantha Thompson from Chisago Lakes, a two-year state participant in gymnastics, three-time captain, six-letter winner, four all-conference, four MVP. In diving, she was a three-time state participant, school record holder for the 11 dive event, and pool record holder at the Two Harbors Pool, a captain of that team as well, a member of DECA and Link Crew. Her volunteer activities include the Parmley Nursing Home and two mission trips. Scholastically, she has an academic letter, all-conference academic, and a distinguished academic achievement award. Samantha will attend St. Cloud State University. She uh, plans to study Spanish education. Samantha Thompson from Chisago Lakes High School. <laughs> Danielle Anderson from Egan is a runner cross country. Her team took second place in the state tournament while she was the individual conference champion twice and her team was conference champion. Twice a Nike Nationals cross country team qualifier, holds four letters and three all conference and three all state and team captain. Also a CARE 11 athlete of the week back in October. For track and field, she was captain with four letters, two all conference and three all state. She was the section champ in the 1600 and 3200 meter runs. She's a member of student government and National Honor Society. Her volunteer activities include church school teaching and Fairview Ridges work at Fairview Ridges. She plans to uh, attend the University of Minnesota. She will run track and cross country and plans to study pre-med. Danielle Anderson from Egan High School. <laughs> Elizabeth Kapruki from East Ridge was the state champ in the Alpine Ski Racer. She holds three all-state and three all-conference and four letters. For soccer, she has four letters and three all-conference and one honorable mention. Sports is still a theme in her volunteer activities as she helps with Special Olympics and youth ski racing. She earned eight Spotlight on Scholarship Awards. Uh, not only an outstanding athlete, but a very good student. She uh, is still undecided on what college she plans to attend, but she knows she wants to study physical therapy. Elizabeth Kapruki from Eastridge High School. Taylor Tavet from Eastview won the Hobie Baker Character Award in Hockey, captain and twice best defensive player, earned the Outstanding Academic Athletic Award in Lacrosse. She was Rookie of the Year for her team and Player of the Year and won the Lightning Leadership Award, holds four letters and four all-conference. Participates in Eastview's TV news shows. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Honing in on what we do. Her volunteer activities include working for the Eastview Scholarship 5K, coaching youth lacrosse. She's worked for blood drives and in, in a nursing home as well as a volunteer. Nominated for the Excel Award, she's on the honor roll. She's uh, earned a lacrosse scholarship at Lehigh University and is enrolled in their School of Business. Congratulations, Taylor Tavette from Eastview High School. 
Nadia Lorenz is from Farmington, the state champion in the long jump in the 100 meter hurdles, having been runner up the previous year. Outstanding track and field athlete, former CARE 11 athlete of the week as well. In gymnastics, she was a conference champion in the vault and floor and section champ in the vault. Second place at the state meet, holds records in the vault and floor with two letters. For soccer, she earned a couple of letters in that sport as well. She's involved in FCA. She will attend Michigan State University and compete in the heptathlon. If you know what that means in track, that means she's doing a multitude of different types of sports. Congratulations to her. She'll study international business at Michigan State University. Nadia Lorenz from Farmington. <laughs> Jessica Daney from Forest Lake participated in the state tournament in all three sports, track, diving, and gymnastics. Took fourth in the 100 meter hurdles at state, having been conference and section runner up in that event. In addition, she was the section and conference champion in 300 meter hurdles. In diving, placed second and fourth at sections in their time as an athlete in that sport. And for gymnastics, has been to the state four times and placed fifth in the vault her senior year, four times section champion in gymnastics, and twice the captain. She volunteers with Feed My Starving Children. She's on the honor roll. She hopes to study pre-med and participate in gymnastics and track at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire. Jessica Daney from Forest Lake High School. <laughs> Haley Lundquist is from Hastings, selected to the All-Metro softball team for both the Star Tribune and Pioneer Press. All-State, a two-all section, a two-all conference, and three-letter winner. Offensive and defensive MVP last year for her team. Currently in tennis. <laughs> Good luck with that this spring. <laughs> Fourth on the school all-time career wins with 59. She has four letters, a two-all conference, and two uh, all-conference honorable mention awards. Where are you going? <laughs> Stay right there. I'm not done yet. <laughs> You're getting antsy. I got some more to read here. She was captain of the tennis team, and in hockey, she earned three letters as well. Haley will play softball at UMD, and she plans to study broadcast journalism, despite our efforts to talk her out of it. Haley Lundquist from Hastings High School. Congratulations. Alicia Olson from Henry Sibley was a state participant twice in cross country, holds six letters, five all-conference, two MVPs. For track, she has six letters, two all-conference, and two all-conference honorable mentions, also captain, and three year, a three-letter winner in hockey and most improved player. School activities include National Honor Society, Link Crew, and Environmental Club. In the community, she's a math tutor and works with Dodge Nature Center, Feed My Starving Children, and the school Blood Drive. She holds two academic letters and the Spotlight on Scholarship Award. She will continue running for the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse and hopes to major in physical therapy. Alicia Olson from Henry Sibley High School. <laughs> Lindsay King from Irondale participated in three state tournaments, two in hockey, one in golf. She has four letters in golf and four all-conference in hockey. She was a four-time letter winner and three all-conference honorable mention. She has one letter in soccer as well. Outside of school, she volunteers for Feed My Starving Children and Union Gospel Mission. Scholastically, a member of the National Honor Society, and she's on the honor roll. She will attend the University of Minnesota. She's undecided on what she plans to study. Lindsey King from Irondale High School. <laughs> Laura Larson from Lakeville North. Volleyball team was twice state champ in 2010 and 2012 and runner-up in 2011. She earned three letters in all-conference and all-state honorable mention. Participated in the state golf tournament, receiving three letters and was captain of the golf team and a member of the marching band as well. Community activities include adopt a park, Sunday school teacher, mission trip, and tutoring. She won the Harvard Prize Book Award and is an AP scholar with distinction, being third in her class and a member of National Honor Society. She's uh, earned a volleyball scholarship. Oh boy, good for you. She's going to the University of Arizona. Are you kidding? That's awesome. Going to the University of Arizona to play volleyball and pursue a pharmaceutical career, Laura Larson out of Lakeville North. <laughs> Jordan Thornton, Lakeville South, holds the school record in discus and shot put. Her team was state true team champion and state champ as well. She's uh, earned two All-State awards and was the MVP of her team. She placed third and fourth in state in Olympic weightlifting with three letters. In soccer, she has, this is one person you don't want to mess with. I'm just telling you right now, you don't want to mess with. 
Soccer, she has three letters, a member of the choir. She takes uh, an interest in her church choir as well, also a Sunday school teacher, and uh, being the art supply coordinator. Besides athletics, she's earned three academic letters, all state academic and student of the month. She will take her track talent to North Dakota State University, where she plans to study secondary education. Jordan Thornton from Lakeville South High School. Natalie Donovan from Matamidi, captain of all three of her sports, it's soccer, three letters, and the Best Attitude and Best Efforts Award winner. For hockey, she earned three letters and Best Attitude Award, and lacrosse, a three-time letter winner. Yearbook editor, having earned a letter for her work in that. Additionally, she works with the Matamidi Service Partnership and Young Life. Academically, she holds high honors. She plans to attend Wisconsin Eau Claire. She's undecided yet on what to study, but I'm sure she'll figure it out. Natalie Donovan from Matamidi High School. <laughs> Catherine McDaniels from Moundsview. Career points in basketball, 1,138. All-state honorable mention in Star Tribune and Pioneer Press. She was the MVP and captain of the team. Three-time state participant in cross country, four-time letter winner, captain as well. In track and field, holds the school record in the four by 800 meter relay. Two-time state participant, was named rookie of the year at one time in that sport. Member of the student council, Synergy Club, National Honor Society. She uses her sports talents to volunteer at youth basketball clinics and other activities include Spanish Tutor, Feed My Starving Children, and Young Life. Scholastically, she earned the Harvard Book Prize Award, Academic Letters, and she's on the A Honor Roll. She plans to attend Wheaton College and study Dermatology. Katherine McDaniels from Moundsview High School. Rachel Hannigan, North St. Paul, earned the most improved player and defensive stopper in basketball, twice captain, three-time letter winner. Her scholar, soccer accomplishments include two-time letter winner and captain and named the hardest worker for track, two letters, and all-conference honorable mention. She's a member of Link Crew, a national honor society in the community. She's a volunteer at Children's and Regents Hospitals. The Women's Rock Marathon and Youth Basketball holds academic letters, A Honor Roll, and Art Student of the Month. She will major in nursing at Winona State University. Rachel Hannigan from North St. Paul. Larissa Lurkin from Park was a Miss Basketball candidate, scored her 1,000 point as a junior, going on to be the all-time leading scorer in Park history. In track and field, five-time letter winner, two all-conference, an academic all-state, and one of the top runners in her school. That running ability also makes her the fourth fastest cross-country runner at her school as well, named the Rookie of the Year at one time in that sport. She is one of the leaders of the pack, I like that, that's good. She participates, good one Deanne, I like that. She participates in the American Legion Halloween event and with youth basketball. Her advanced placement activities, she's on the president's list in the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society at Denver Hills Community College and holds four academic letters. She's earned a basketball scholarship at Kent State University where she plans to major in pre-med. Congratulations, Larissa Lurkin from Park High School. Hannah Halterman from Rosemount was captain of the soccer team, having earned three letters, all conference and all section, and two-time Miss Offense. She was captain of the basketball team with three letters, and in track, she also earned three letters in that, in that sport. She was a two-time state qualifier for DECA and a member of National Honor Society. In the community, her activities involve uh, Feed My Starving Children and Meals on Wheels and Loaves and Fishes. Scholastically, she's earned four academic letters. She's on the A honor roll. She will play soccer at the University of North Dakota, and she plans to study nursing. Hannah Halterman from Rosemont High School. <laughs> Jacqueline Johnson Poss from Roseville, one of ESPN Sports Center's top 10 plays in basketball this year. Miss a basketball candidate, having been on the Pioneer Press All East Metro team in her 1,000th point in her junior year. She was the most uh, valuable player, a five-time letter winner in that sport, captain twice. Track and field accomplishments are three letters, all-conference honorable mention, and Raider Character Award winner. In tennis, the captain, a state participant in doubles, having been section runner-up, and also a two-time all-state participant. She is a trombone player for the symphonic band and a member of National Honor Society. In the community, she is the student member of the Central Park Board Foundation and volunteers 
at her church. Scholastically, she takes AP courses, holds three academic letters. She's on the A honor roll. She has earned a basketball scholarship at the University of Denver and plans to study business analytics. Jacqueline Johnson Poss from Roseville High School. Kristen Mertens from Simley, five letters in hockey, earning the Spartan and Scholar Athlete Award in soccer, three-time letter winner, three silver academic awards. She is the record holder in the four by 200 meters and four by 400 meters in her school and uh, is number three on the list in the 400 meters all time. Four letters in track as well. She is the captain of the team. Other school activities include National Honor Society as an officer, Letter Persons Club, Spanish Club and Student Council, volunteers at her church, youth hockey and soccer as well. Academic achievements, AP Scholar with Honors, top 10 of her class and the A Honor Roll. She will attend Gustavus Adolphus. She's undecided yet on what she will study, but I'm sure she'll get that all figured out. Kristen Mertens from Simley High School. Alicia Sethry from South St. Paul on the state all-time all-tournament soccer team, MVP and captain of that team, four-time letter winner in basketball, made the all-tournament team for the Winter Classic, was the most approved player and captain, three-time letter winner, holds four letters in golf and was the captain of the team. Other school activities include Junior and Senior Council, National Honor Society. She participates in youth camps for soccer and basketball. She's on the Gold Honor Roll. She will attend North Dakota State University to major in exercise science and physical therapy. Alicia Sethry from South St. Paul. Come on up here, Natalie. I've been waiting for you. Finally, 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 we're sending one to Iowa State. And not only are we sending one to Iowa State, but she's gonna run track too. That's perfect. Here, can I hold your hand? Sure. <laughs> Natalie Fippen from Stillwater has 12 letters in two sports of track and tennis and tennis, six all-conference and three MVP for track, five-time all-conference and three all-state. In the community, she volunteers at the uh, Animal Humane Society, teaches youth, teaches youth tennis and helps with uh, sports fundraising. In December, she was the student of the month. She will attend Iowa State University and run track. Natalie Fippen from Stillwater High School. <laughs> Diane Albrecht from uh, Tartan, the conference champion in the vault and the beam and was runner up in, all, in the all around going on to be the section runner-up and state participant. She was a two-year captain, three-time MVP, captain of the track team holding three letters and an all-conference honorable mention. She won the Jostens National Yearbook Photo Contest and is a member of Link Crew and National Honor Society. And outside of school, she volunteers for Relay for Life. She's an AP scholar with honors, being on the A honor roll as well. She plans to uh, study uh, journalism at the University of Minnesota. Diana Albrecht from uh, Tartan High School. Danielle Renner from White Bear Lake won the Hardest Worker and MVP awards in softball, three-time letter winner, won all conference and all state. In basketball, holds four letters and one each, in, uh, all, one each for all conference and honorable mention. A member of the Ambassadors Chemistry Club and National Honor Society, she uses her sports talent as a, a coach in softball and basketball and camps. She's also an A honor roll student. Uh, Danielle will be a North Dakota State University Bison, plays softball there, and hopes to major in architecture or mechanical engineering. Danielle Renner from White Bear Lake High School. <laughs> and last but not least, Christina White from Woodbury earned nine letters, including one in football. She was one of the first three female kickers for that team, and they all scored points in a game. In basketball, Miss Basketball candidate, earning four letters, two MVP, three-time All-Conference, named two-time Pioneer Press All-State, twice captain and school record holder, with a total of 202 points in three pointers, and most free throws made in uh, school history. For soccer, her team took second in state, four-time letter winner in that sport, and she was also captain. Other school activities include link crew and community outreach. She volunteers at her church and is a youth mentor 
has a Distinguished Academic Achievement Award, and she's on the A Honor Roll. She will play basketball under scholarship at the University of Vermont and study exercise science. Christina White from Woodbury High School. And how about one last round of applause for all of our Athena Award winners today. Thank you, Randy. He does such a good job, doesn't he? Let's give Randy a round of applause. At this time, we'll conclude our banquet. This program, you probably figured out, is being uh, taped. It will be on the St. Paul um, Cable News Network. Uh, so check the listings and see. We'll try to post on the website too when it's going to when it's going to play, so you can hopefully catch it if you are in the right cable area. I'd like to say. Congratulations to all the girls. Don't forget to take your posters home. And any of you, you're welcome to come up and take pictures up here if you want, uh, if their parents didn't get a chance to take pictures during the banquet. Thank you for coming, and hope to see you next, some of you next year. Thank you.